hellos and back again this is just a random 2v2 I played it's myself playing um, NOV on Maverick and Peter Gong 007 on second in the infantry against um, Freya and Pistol on Joe and they are both on balance and my teammate is on Juggernaut and I should say right from the get go one of these players I'm not sure which one if it's pistol Joe or not one of them's only level 7 so they're quite inexperienced the other two players are like level 20 something odd but I thought it would probably balance out a bit because I was playing yeah that did no so I've got I've got basically no decent armor I'm go I'm starting off on the left side and my teammate well, left I don't know my left my right on my right side and on the right and uh, my teammate is on the left I'll just call him 007 for now seems easier and who else have we got Frey and just got to say Freya and Joe so we've got pistol Joe on the left and I'm up against Freya I think this is the level 7 player but he seemed fairly passive but I was yeah because I could get into here fairly easily he didn't quite push me off this hill as you can see but starting off with a panther <laughs> overkill does my blind out to get away Blindata. I keep saying Blindata. Blinda. It does. So, yeah. I'm just basically trying to hold on to here. I put some infantry in here. These units are recently been buffs. So, 25 points. They are ridiculously good squads, these. Recon units. Unbelievable. You can sneak them in the back line and murder loads of things. That's why I put two in the forest here to get in there and kill. But up against uh, uh, the Red Jaeger with the MP44s, they're going to suffer. But not doing too bad. The Bombati in here as well. He's got a really, really nice loadout. But my troops get wasted quite easily here. The tank's pushing over the hill. I've got an AT gun set up here. I've got um, AA set up here. Because I know losing this is very, very bad at early game. Because especially with my division, I don't have any armor to come in here and cover. But I do have... Um, I do have mortars to lay down smoke if I need to get closer, and I've got a decent amount of AT guns, although I'm not particularly powerful in phase A. The S35s dying almost instantaneously. For the T34s. I think my opponent says in experience he probably doesn't understand what division I have. If he did know what this division was, I'm sure he would just push through here and wipe me out quite quickly. But yeah, I was I was not looking too good at the moment. My teammates seem to be holding not doing much i was asking um i was like um excuse me i think i'm gonna lose i need help asking for a tank but once he saw the panther in here oh here's me crying for help like a baby yeah once i was asking for help he's like um what can i do i've just got the m10 so i was like yeah fair enough <laughs> but yeah so he's he just needs to get his infantry he's like, unfortunately he's playing very passively here well fortunately for me he's got some nice 50 mil mortars in here doing nice nice work so he might be a relatively inexperienced player, but he's making good use of 50 mil mortars here. He's probably scared to come into the forest. Maybe he does know what my division has. He's got this panther covering down the road now. And he's worried about this thing. Can this actually penetrate the panther? Absolutely not. Only from the side, possibly. But yeah, he's being wary. He just knows something's shooting at it, so he's just going to reverse it out and save it. Which is fair enough. Sometimes you don't have much time to take into consideration exactly what gun's shooting at you. Yeah, because in the game, you rarely have time to go like this. Oh yeah, what does this do? And have a quick look. And I don't know all of these off by heart. I'm surprised it's a 100, 100mm pen. I didn't actually realise it was that good, this gun. Wow. Hmm, there we go. Oh, so I bring in a Marauder. Hoping to take out the Panther. I think it might do so. This has a decent loadout. Yeah, 907 kilograms. He has reversed it in time, but I might get it. I'm not sure if I do. No, it doesn't look like it. Oof. Big boom. AT gun takes out the tanks here. So, yeah, these AT guns doing decent work. They're keeping him at bay now, so I can keep bringing in reinforcements. Where we got pings going on here? Oh, that's me. Oh, yeah, I'm just... I was hoping to get rid of this mortar. I don't think it manages it, though. 
What is a range on it? Is it out of range or something? Oh yes, way out of range. I think I do try and advance it in a minute. My teammate was watching there, obviously on, on, on the ball game, not me. These infantry were a pain. I think I bring in a bomber. So now I'm bringing in some um, artillery to help out. So I know I'm going to keep, have to keep pounding this area to get on this hill. All very quiet on this front. Maybe this is the inexperienced player because he's really, really passive at the moment. He's not doing a lot. Or are they both investing on this side? Let me see. So we've got Freya, Pistol Joe, Freya, Freya, Freya. Let's go. Oh, we've got, yeah, both players are pushing here, actually. That explains it. Whereas my teammate, he's just still reinforcing in the centre, which is good. I'm starting to bring some infantry into the centre here too. I might just sneak this across here. I do try and get it round this way, but it does get annihilated, I believe. Mustang's taking down the plane. I see it's bringing in a bomber. I don't know what he's bombing. Is it just the mortar? Or is it a panther? Oh, he's trying to get a panther. I lose my AA over here. But still at 12-12, and because I'm on Maverick, I was like saying, we, you know, we're going to have to win quite early. Because once we hit C phase, so what's that, 200 and... Oh my god, my calculator. 255 points, why, so they'll be getting 310 per minute once we hit C phase. So we don't want to be going too far into, into C phase. This game was set to a 50-minute time limit, though. Not by myself, I'm not sure who did it, but worked out pretty good. I also, I believe... I've got a feeling as well it was um it was actually um limited income as well. Um I think it was. Yeah, so it's not not the usual sort of 2v2 setup. I've also got a sneaky feeling this map is actually a 3v3 map. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, so now I'm bringing in some machine guns here. Now I know he's he's getting into the forest line here. I was bringing in machine guns just to Lay down fire to anything that pops its head out. This Blindata has survived for a very long time. Is that the same one? I didn't bring a new one. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the same one. It's been there since the start of the game, this, since deployment. Marauder coming in. I just thought I'd drop it on this forest. I had a good feeling there's, a, there's still a decent amount of troops in there. Maybe I do wipe a squad or two. Let's see. Definitely wipe that one. Unfortunately, it's such a big bomb, it pinned my own unit. I've got the RT just fine. I've got this, um, I don't think I was actually targeting a panther. I just put it on defensive fire for that general area. And it's not doing a lot here other than just being a little bit annoying. More troops coming in. Then Pistol and Joe coming in here. And if they switch sides or something. No, nope. he's playing across the entire map. I guess he's helping out his teammate. Freya, who seems to be... Um, oh, he's in the centre as well a little bit. Yeah, he seems... I think Freya's more of the inexperienced player here. So these machine guns, let's see what work they can do. Yes, yeah, inexperienced here. You should really... If you've got this, this town here, you should be getting into these forests and just stopping me from bringing... Get some um, AT rifles in here or something. Just stop me from bringing any more reinforcements in. So I'm bringing in a lot more now. Boshi or Boki, however you say that, I'm not sure. I do not speak, um, what is this, Croatian, I believe? Maybe I'll pick them up as I go along. Or oh, probably not. Just make up names of things, why in hell not? <laughs> just, just offend every nationality I possibly can. Um, what else we got going on here? Yeah, it's, I didn't realise because I was just focused on my part of the map. My teammate seems... I was making a little bit of a push here as well, bringing up my tanks. I did have some infantry in here, they must have got wiped out. But he seems to be going for the town. We are ticking now because of this flag. Again, it's an easy gain here. They, they se seem to have dropped the ball. So light a deployment here. Just need some smoke laid down here and rush in. Mortars at the back, nice position. I've got a mortar in here as well. This is just mo mostly a defensive mortar in case 
people started pushing through into this town quite heavily. I do start putting that to use. I think I already have actually. I got shelled a bit. Oh, lost my unit. The Borky Bossy. Gonna get overwhelmed. There's a hell of a I saw how many units there was in here, so I was just like, alright, let's get out of dodge. Move them out the way. Hurricane's coming in, take out the C-34. Does a good job there. Marauder coming in to deal with these Rick Jaegers. Does it get them? Does it get them? I think it might. Oh no, oh, it's coming in over here, sorry, yeah. Beautiful hit there. Completely wiped out four units. Marauder bombers are just brutal. I think, have they got times four 900 kilo bombs or something? It's just insane. Insanely powerful things. Yeah, with these, I was using these on um, targeted fire, not just um, defensive fire, I think, actually. So it's, they're stopped firing now, which is kind of beneficial in a way. But I do start using them later on. Oh, my AA's been picked out here. Attack move. Why have I done this? Oh, yeah, so I start, I start laying down some smoke in this area now. I want to rush into this town, try and get through and hold this flag. So at this point I see I see the Panzer IV I believe there's a lack of AA on the opponent's side there's a flak 38 in here I think that's all the AA he has at the moment a couple of artillery pieces at the back that has been deployed now I guess we're going to try and deal with these or with the AA oh my teammate coming in tagged in Tiger nice work very nice work I don't think I saw that because I was focusing on the centre here I've got these, um, what are they called, proletari, and, oh, I can't really see the truck at the moment. These have got um, the M34 light machine gun, I believe, and they have Panzerfaust as well. So just in case he's sneaking in here with any armor, I'm just going to back them up. I do believe in a, blin a blinder, I believe, a recon tank. Oh, it's already here, sorry, yeah. So will start moving this through as well to support. I'm going to try and sweep through in this town, put some pressure on this flag. More smoke coming down. Oh, actually, I think I'm, I was just targeting in case there's any reinforcements coming in here. Pre-empting. So, yeah, I've got four units in here. Just sheer numbers going to overwhelm. But then, there's that MGs doing some nasty work on me. So I'm going to start to target them. Bringing in some nasty recon units as well. Yeah, he has got into these forests now, he's holding them, but he doesn't want to poke out his men, because, well, I guess he's got slapped in the face by these, um, Sorax. How do you, what is that little accent over the S? Hmm, is it Sorax? Sirax? Hmm, interesting. Um, what are these things? Oh, they're not the most powerful artillery weapons. Have I got these? I've got these on counter battery, actually. So, yeah, they're going to do next to no work against these. He's got, is he in more, is he in radio range? I believe he is. Oh, yes, yes. He's got a radio guy in here, so he's going to be pounding those to pieces. These things are going to be so inaccurate. But you don't get much options with this unit. You get lots of uh, mortars and you get these 75 mils. It's better than nothing. They've got a heat round with no accuracy. Yeah, they fire reasonably quickly, do a bit of damage. But you want these to be firing... I got them for firing into this area, really, not as counter-battery. Well, it needs must. All right, so I've been trying to get in this area. The Marauder comes in and drops his bomb. Because they've got the big, big boom. How how big a damage does this do? I think I take out one. I know that for sure. Probably going to get both of these. Oh, because he was moving. Still got one and just pinned the AT gun. Unfortunate. I have managed to wipe out... Infantry, it recently heavy losses though. The Prot is having to go to Panzer IV, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Unfortunate at this range. I bring in a few fighters to try and take it out. I believe it's going to be successful. No, unlucky, unlucky. Yeah, but this, this has got to be heavily damaged by now. It must be. Yeah, it looks wrecked. But it's still alive. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. The AT gun did probably pop it right at the end as he's retreating. Now I want to rush into here and take this flag if I can. We're back to a 12-12. I 
as you can see on the left big push pistol joe really get it in here is it pistol joe pistol how do you say it pistol and joe i noticed this so i'm bringing out some mgs here to help against all these all this infantry i saw coming in then i bring out the hurricane now this is no aa absolutely no aa in this area i thought this was going to get shot down instantly so i decided to target the panzer 4 first and then the panther this could be brutal one down side shot into the panther a two down excellent work there yeah my teammate complimented me on that one i was like kind of surprised it worked to be honest but yeah that really hampers his push here because this this m10 would have been wrecked by that panther soon the rhino's going to come in now start covering this area we're back to 12 12 again i'm still trying to push into this area this mortar is alive but it's completely out of ammo now or is it am i lying no i'm not completely out of ammo. back to the right side still pretty static here there's so many units in here doing nothing i don't have any off map if i could see all he needs to do here really is just Q-move these across here. He can take out all this. But the, the issue with that doing that is there's no flags here. So really this is all here to protect this one flag. If you've got this much domination on this part of the map, what you want to be doing is setting up in this line, taking this hill here, and then just trying to push across the open with infantry. With them, some, some um, armor support in the background if possible. And then go for this flag. Because you're getting this flag's going to be next to impossible. This one, you can sneak it across this. Yeah, you, you do get... I, I tried to sneak a few units across here, like you've seen. And they, they can go back and forth. But you don't tend to hold these flags for very long once you take them. Except for on the blue side, you can take these. And if you get some good units into here, you can cut off the reinforcement roads. And then pressure this flag a little. But yeah, like most 2v2, 3v3 maps, it's not that easy to get double ticks at all. Hurricane coming for Tiger, Buke coming for Tiger. He's got his AA up now, the Gepard are in play. SDF, SDKFZ takes out my Bu. I was not even looking where the AA was. I've got into a very bad habit from playing on my laptop. But I, where, because I was playing on my laptop, it was so slow and the graphics were so bad, I couldn't see where the, where the AA was firing. So I just stopped looking now. So I need to get back into the habit of trying to pick out the AA. Not that I could really do much with these things, to be honest. And he's got he's got lots of mobile AA as well, which will make it very tricky. Anyway, still holding this flag here again. I can't. Oh, was this my tank? I think it might have been my tank. Yes, I, I pop this on the road here to cover any incoming units. I'm not sure if it managed to snipe. Yeah, it looks like it sniped something here. Alright. Mortify coming in from my teammate here, trying to pick out units. Like, I'm pinging to attack this area now. I'm going to start laying down some smoke and throwing some troops here. Because I had a feeling that he seemed fairly unprotected here, given that these units are in this building and they're not being attacked by anything. So I'm thinking he's not got many long-range support units. I'm taking a risk that he might he might have quite a lot here, but I thought, well, we've got a probe. I have lots of infantry, so I can afford to have a bit of a probe. I'm just going to drop these in without firing. He's got Shermans and Armour in to support, to make a flanking manoeuvre if needed. So it seemed like a, a reasonable time to have a bit of a probe over here for me. At the same time, I've managed to get uh, Mori's Borki onto the forest. I've got Bombassi and two Borki, Borsi in here. Yeah, I'll have to Google that later, see what... Yeah, some of these names. Um, I don't think I'm... Should I bother trying that? Konjiki? Konjiski? Is... Is... Vidasi? I do know someone from Croatia from a long time ago, but yeah. I don't think I ever heard them speak Croat, because they were in Greece, but anyway. Right, smoke coming down. 
Um, I guess these got unloaded. Mm, did they get unloaded by this? No. I maybe I think I just unloaded them earlier then and I just marched I just start marching them forward. Commander coming in here. His tanks looks like one of them's got popped. Oh no, he's just moved them back. So the armor push on the left side here is not really making much ground. He's got managed to sneak this flag. We're still at 12 12 though, because we've got we've gained this flag here. Which is very nice. I'm kind of trying to get somewhere on the hill. These guys are getting decimated, so I'm bringing up the, the L6 mini tank here to do some work. Maybe take out some infantry if I can. These are super cheap things. They're 25 points. But yeah, T-34 might get it. Oh no! AT gun got it. This hill is deadly important for this side. So I've got decent, like, four units here that can do some AT capabilities. A minimal front line of infantry. I'm just sort of staying there for now. Focusing on the push over here. So my leader got right. You just moving here, dropping down more and more smoke over here. My teammate um, maybe didn't notice this, so he's, he's not moving in his tanks. Oh, he can because they're yeah they're flanked. Ah. Yeah, so I bring in a um, uh, a Belinda to help support some snipers. Try and pick off some infantry. And I've dropped um, an, an AA piece down here now to help protect because there was some bombing rooms coming in this area. I think I lost um, I lost a plane from a fighter and I was like, you got no AA? I guess he have, oh, he's got some AA in here actually. Bringing in a Ventura, it's probably not going to do much. He's a reasonably slow. There's a decent amount of AA in there. It might get it slowed off if it's lucky. Yeah, really struggling to get to this flag and hold it. Is he going to get his load off? Mm, not quite. No, not quite. Did he drop any? Doesn't look like it. He's probably going to get wiped out of the sky now. Yep. On the right. HE bombers coming in. Oh, he's at a Henkel, I believe. Yeah, I, was, I decided to start making a push over here as well. But big boom. Big boom. So, yeah, that, that didn't go too well. We're on the single tick here, it's what we want. And we are now in C phase. So I'm at the point where I've got the most points I can possibly have on the board with um, the Maverick. And now my teammate is kicking in with his large amount of points too. More smoke cutting off lines of sight over here. The MG's coming round now, so this flag's probably... I'm not going to hold it for much longer by the looks of it. I'm bringing another mortar around here. I'm looking to get into this flag. Really want it. I'm on this side, these 120 mil mortars do some work. Well, my teammate, what's he doing there? Was that? They're my mortars. Or was I firing? I don't remember doing that. Oh, I think that was his howitzer actually. Yeah. I don't think that was me firing that. Oh, so he's got some big arty... Oh, here they are. He's got, yeah, he's got two long toms here. Yeah, they're dealing with those. Where's the ping? Where's the ping? Um, yeah, that was me, I believe. Yeah, so I, I'm starting to move my MG out here. Trying to get eyes on whatever infantry's in here so I can pick them off. These have got, um, yeah, 1,250 meter range. So, yeah, I'm just moving them up into the light cover to cover any advance by infantry here. I do spot these and decide to go in and wipe them at some point because these ca can cause a lot of problems. If you're a, and the tank in here can take out the, the bit of armor in here. They can get in and around and just cause all kinds of havoc. Carthrax can be the bane of everyone. Still holding on to this flight luckily. I was trying to hide this but it looks like it had blown the buildings now. So, yeah, finally going to lose that flag. We are on a 14-10, nearly on a double tick, not quite. I was moving the Borsche across here. They've come around this way, but 
not quite worked out here. Got mortars in here, got supply back in to... Oh, it mustn't have got shot up. Yeah, so these are both on full full ammunition. Looks like I forgot about them a bit. L6 still alive here. I have just said, yeah, kiss. <laughs> kiss of death. I decided to pop these in here because they're, you know, their recon is going to wander in. Probably going to whack. Let's see how these do now, actually, against MP44s. So we've only got one Molotov, unfortunately. Throws that. Yeah, they're going to get whacked. Do a decent amount of work. Yeah, but these guys, they've got the better... Better submachine gun, well, assault rifle combo can dish out a ton of damage there. They've got Molotovs as well. But still reasonable under a larger man squad, I believe. Oh, I dropped a bigger AA piece back here and another one here because there was some bombing runs coming in, as you saw before, which were kind of annoying. Resupplying my, my artillery. And um, what's going on over here? Anything? Also, my machine gun's moved up. We've got eyes on these Panzergren and we've got the flag back just about. Oh, what's this? Stuart Rush. <laughs> They're in the centre. Probably not going to be very successful. But we've got M10 destroyers in here as well. So if we can take out take out this Yag, Yag D Panzer, which is going to be tricky. 105mm. These things are going to walk into their death, though, if they're not careful. And is this where I start doing the work? Nope. Looks like I'm just pounding this area. I saw the gollies in here. Like these are one of the strongest units in the game for, you know, 500 meter range engagements. They're just ridiculously powerful. 16 man squads, three LMGs. Not the best LMGs, but three of them is good in any book. Trying to sneak across the Borsche here. Trying to get onto this flag still. Still very stagnant on this side. I was very happy that I could have managed to just hold on to this area. And here comes my teammate. He's I was saying that we need to get double tick and he's like, what do you mean? Do you mean off map? And he brings in an off map, which is well you'll see what it does in a minute. You can imagine. <laughs> Look at that. Prime target. So I'll keep an eye out for that in a minute. It's going to be beautiful to watch. Light tanks coming here. They're going to get decimated unless they get behind the buildings. Looks like he is trying to... No, they're just, they're just going to get picked off one by one here. Unfortunate. The M10s are already gone. Or there's one which just snuck back into cover here. The off-map's not coming down yet. See, the, our opponents do have a large amount of equipment in here but it's not the best it fires fast enough it does some work they've got radios so i guess it's okay for how many points is that 50 yeah it's decent it's decent here we go oh dear even if it doesn't kill everything here it's gonna 10 10 30 40 50 60 65 men in there at least nearly 70 some armor let's see what survives it's gonna be disgusting I got these pioneer squads kind of nice 15 man they don't have any LMGs but they've got decent rifles like in terms of the number of them on some TNT let's look at this do not want to be in this town This is going to be horrific. Yeah, I start laying down some um, some fire as well. Oof. He does spot this and start falling and back. Piece of light ammo gone down. These guys are still pinned, so if they get hit, they're going to get wiped. The falling back gives you a lot of protection. Oh, looks like that's all. Kind of kind of lucky there. But still got some fire coming in from my um, artillery as well. I start moving some of my men forward. See what I can see. Bring up my L6 on, onto the road, I believe. But 
Yeah, wasn't didn't do actually did a lot of kills here. Mm, actually, not loads of kills, but a hell of a hell of a good amount of suppression in there. Next one coming down as well. And the other part of the map, we we do manage to have the, hold this flag. It's very lucky. Yeah, we extremely lucky to hold this. We got this flag secured again. We have this flag secured. So now my teammate is setting up in this area for some reason. It looks like he wants to. He's dying to rush this hill for some reason, or maybe just wants to protect the flag. Looks more than likely. There's some half tracks assault group in there. Not a bad idea. I'm trying to sneak up across some pioneer here. I just put them on the move order. Just wanted to get them through into the forest so they can cause havoc with their TNT. Start pushing up onto the hill now. Off map coming down again. More infantry coming in here from my teammate. Assault groups with um, half tracks. Extremely nice. I brought up some more of my rinky dink tanks so they can do some work. We are double ticking at last. So there's actually 19 minutes left in the game. We need to take them down for eight more minutes on double to win. Oh, here it comes. I do, do just about manage to get these off and wipe them all out. Yeah, it's probably, it's not a lot. I think they're about five points each, but they can be annoying, so they're gone now. Bringing my Hurricane 2. Really silly. I wasn't paying attention to the amount of AA they had over here. And so that's, that's gone. There's no way that's going to survive that, surely. Yeah, completely wiped. Are these long toms on? What are they doing? Ah, oh, so he's firing up onto the hill here. Good, good, good. I think I was doing that with my mortars as well. Oh, I've made a misclick here. I'll load them up by accident. Because I, I tried to get this to fire over here, I think, or here, where he's firing. And then I clicked the hat. The, um, the supply truck to move back here, but must have accidentally loaded it. Still not getting this flag, but I'm trying to sneak it now. So I see my L6 here, so I put it on fast move. It's a little tip for some people, because um, often people just put him on attack move constantly. But in this situation, I don't want him getting stuck in the middle of the road and picked off. I just want him to get right behind here and to be there to hold the flag and nothing else more. Now I put him on attack move. Because I can't see anything over there at the moment. They have very little vision, these things. But now I've got onto that flag. Start moving the infantry across the water. I like the little animation. Where are they? Yeah, they're holding the guns above the head. <laughs> nice little detail. Long Tom's done some nice work there. My mortar is firing on here again. I'm trying to pick off these MGs. Salt groups. Not quite sure what they're doing. Oh, he's, he's pushing them back to some defensive positions to hold this flag. We're still managing to hold this. Huge push coming in over here again. He's invested a hell of a lot into this flag, where I think it would be better to go for the centre with your Panthers and your Tigers and such. And the push on the right has been devastating. The assault squads have got in here, done work. Off map coming back at us, but it's only a 105mm, whereas 203, obviously, much, much bigger. I moved my L6 forward. I was hoping to get it out of the out of the fire or at least into a position where it can cover any units coming into the road to follow up on the off map but he's got nothing coming in they're all the units he has are over here i do start bringing in some yeah here comes some of my infantry now just want to hold on to this flag keep this double tick going as long as possible looks like i'm going to unload directly into the off map unfortunately Still holding this flag here. Still got sneak. Oh no, we've lost one in the middle. Yes, I've got one, two. Oh yeah, this one over here. Three. They're the three we're gaining for the double tick. Of oh, five minutes forty seconds. Yeah, I'm. I'm fairly certain this was on a. I don't think it was half income, but it was um reduced income for sure. But it was an interesting fight. It seemed 
it, it balances out quite nicely on the three v three maps because this is kind of like if you play one v one games again, you can see this is still the one v one map kind of ends like here somewhere, I believe. Or is it? Oh no, it's the other way around, isn't it? The one v one maps this way, I believe. Yeah, yeah, the one v one maps kind of starts back here somewhere and end somewhere over here so this is kind of like almost not quite double the size of a 1v1 map but it was a, it was a I felt like a, a nice a nice kind of balance with the incomes and everything and the, the way it worked oh Nice run by my teammate here, takes out that panther, gets these half traps to fall back, which could, again, this is where they're devastating, you just charge them forward, even if you get picked off by the rhino, one or two of them, they're going to wipe out this infantry quickly, but without the, without the panther here to support, these rhinos are just going to clear up, I bring an adventure as well, coming in to drop the bombs, should be devastating there, yeah, nasty wipe. And another bomb run coming in for my teammate. Yeah, our, our opponents were wasting so many units over here. They'd really need some AA in this area, I, I would feel, to help those help stop those kind of bombing runs. But it's really risky coming this far across the map with that many units in the open, where it can just be bombed. Four long toms, devastating as well, these things. Laying down a lot of fire. It's gonna make light work of all this infantry. We're still managing to hold onto the hill here as well. Oh, my L6 goes down. I think he got Shrekt, yeah. Borky out in the open, not gonna last very long. Has a rock, another extremely strong unit, these Hungarians. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, this submachine gun is really good. The damage output might not look that great. It's the accuracy which does it. Because at under 100 meters, the closer you get, the more you fire, the accuracy goes up to 100 very quickly. So you'd be dishing out this amount of damage. Very, very, very quickly. Decent amount as well from the, the rifles. Light machine gun, though, under 100 meters doesn't do anything. But he is going to sneak back this flag. I brought in some uh, mini mortars here, which were just pounding at anything that showed its face. These things still alive. I'm surprised these lasted that long. They're more of an annoyance than actually dishing out much damage, to be honest. So, 13, 11 again, five minutes. He's got this flag back. Tiger's coming in here, Panzer IV on the road. Very little chance of getting back into here without some smoke. Sneaking into the forest. So at this point, I was just thinking about, well, I just want to try and get this flag again, but focus on just holding a single tick now for five minutes if we can. Because um, the, the worst we can get out of this game now is a draw. Because on the on the, um, the fifty minute time limit rule, if you if you've been ticked down the most, like our opponents have, what they need to do now to get the draw is just hold more flags at the end of the game. Then it'll be a draw. Exactly what we're going to be doing in the league. So this is a good example of like um, uh, my argument for having deployment points with 500. So it gives you an idea of like this is a times three map from a deployment at the start of the game having less points it kind of makes it a bit more open at the start more tactical and how you place and what you can do especially when you've got the big open spaces so that is the reason i think it's better and again this map if this was a 2v2 map i think it'd be cut down here i think it's which side does it yeah, the 2v2, I think you have this side first, don't you? So it's, it's probably cut round about here-ish, I believe. I'll check it out in a minute, actually. 
Let's check it out after the game and discuss it. Discuss with myself. <laughs> then I'm always right. It's perfect. More long toms. How many's it got? Oh my god. That's <laughs> filth. Got eight of them out. And again, so new Hummels. Yeah, doing a lot of work. Three minutes. We're still at the single tick. This flag is being held. Got these units dropped here, but they're not advancing. There's more coming in here. Yeah, he, our opponents see that it's really important they grab another flag or two to try and get the draw. Laying down attack in this area. There's ten minutes left. I'm reinforcing again here with some more units. Now my teammate as well, these assault groups. I have to check out the loadout on these assault groups. They're not they're not terrible, they're alright from what I believe. Or the Grease Gun Thompson, they're not brilliant, but you get three smokes, so you can get in close with this. And you're going to dish out four damage. You get in really close, do some work. Say, so look at the, um, say, submachine guns I was talking about before, with the Hungarian ones. 55% actually, 45% 40, actually. Look at the Husserock, the Danuvia, 80%. I mean, it's, it's a huge difference. But these, if they lay down smoke, they're not into cover. They are probably going to get picked off. Yeah, they're going to get destroyed here. They just need more smoke. There's desperate holding onto this flag here. He's bringing in more rifles. I'm not sure what I was doing at this point. I was just thinking, oh, we're looking good. Spitfire? That, yeah, that was my Spitfire. Just strafing some infantry down. Yeah, this is a flag we're going to be wanting to get to hold. Oh, he's using smart orders. That's not a good idea. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Never use smart orders, ever. They're terrible. But it seems to be getting away with it here, luckily. These half-tracks, things moving out to this area, we could pick off all of these. My tank is going to be doing that job. One of my mortars has been taken out, so I've spotted this going to start shooting it. There's a rock. You see how good these are. It's 45 millimeter, not even 50. Killed one person. Two. Pin them. So yeah, they, they do. They do something decent, I guess. Yeah, 24 rounds per minute rate of fire. 60 shells. Yeah, they're not the most fantastic things. You can bring these in on a motorbike as well, which is good. So you can get there fast to the front line when you need them. But yeah, decent. But for the points they cost as well, like 15 points. Can't be complaining about that at all. Oh, my teammates. Looks like he's... Is he? Is that him or me? Oh no, it's me. I've, I've, I've brought in some more supplies over here. Just kept them firing constantly to be annoying. We've managed to gain this flag. We lost the one in the center. Here come the filthy bombers. They've been repulsed. One of them's been repulsed. Looks like the other two are getting off their bombs fairly effectively. Oh, Blinder gone. There's another one going to go here. Off map falling down. M10 destroyed. Effective. But we're up to 14.10 and that is it. That is it. Did they surrender? I wasn't looking at the clock. I think I think we just got them at the clock there, actually. So let's have a look. So I did. Oh, so it looks like it was it. It was Pistol Joe, Pistol and Joe, who was the one who was less experienced. Can we check? Yeah. Oh, is it level four? Yeah. So. Yes. Not massively surprising that we won this game. Oh, it just has level four for Freya as well. That's not right. He was level. 21. That's these. These are all messed up. I thought they fixed this. Clearly not. Yeah, because I'm not. I'm not level 21. Of 37. Now it's. It seems to be a little bit slow with its reaction. You have to do it twice. Yeah. So he's 21. Oh weird. So you do it once, it doesn't work. Then you do it again, and it works. All right. Oh, that's interesting. So what's my teammate? What was he? It doesn't say. He was 20 something. I think he was 27. I think he was 27. 
Yeah, but I made 37. Yeah, that's me. Oops. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Forgot to look at everything. But level, I say once you get to level sort of 20, you're you're pretty pretty solid play. You know what's going on. After that, they don't mean anything. I play, there's some players who have been level 10 who are better than me. Some people are just better at these kind of games. Ugh. All right, so let's go and have a look at... Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Where do I want to go? Very, very quickly. Let's just go skirmish mode for hell of it. Map. Lenina. Media map covers. Um, I'm pretty sure we were on... Yeah, there's the... Were we, on, were we actually on a medium map there? All oh, right, it looks like I was wrong, actually. It looks like I was wrong. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So it felt like it was a large map, because sometimes... You've probably noticed, some of you, if you play custom games, if you put it on random map, and it's a 2v2, sometimes it gives you a 3v3 map. Same when you do 1v1. I'm not sure how that happens. I used to think it was because of... Yeah, it was a, it was a 2v2 map. All right, okay. All right. It was. Oh, well, there you go. Learn something new every day. So the 3v3 must extend further out this way then. Yeah, yeah, the free view. Oh, yeah, it's got all that crazy forest over here and nonsense. But yeah, Lenina, on it's a 1v1, this one, <laughs> I, I'd hate it. I just basically auto surrender nearly every time. Like 99% of the time I surrender. So I just don't enjoy it at all. There's just the slog in the town here. And the, the map, the flag placements is horrible. On this, it's o I think it's okay, but it's still a bit of a slog. Yeah, most of the most of the the play comes in this area. This is like more of the long game objectives. These six flags are what what ended up what ends up where people end up fighting a hell of a hell of a lot. And this this is always a major fight here. From the red, you want to be rushing in here and just put as much pressure as possible and try and grab this. Often to the point where you can neglect the center. This is where, from red side, you can overcommit to the right side sometimes, and then you neglect here. Then if your teammate gets into here, I mean, your opponents get into here and take these flags, you're in some serious trouble. So you really need to protect this forest from the red side, and you want to be putting support weaponry on these two hills, and if you can, get infantry into here as fast as possible, pressure on this flag. And in the town centre again, like we, like you saw, we did here. We did manage to, yeah. You, you just want to get as much infantry as you can in this area. And early on, if you can pressure into here, very good. You can often take this flag quite easily. Get in an AT gun into this area to cover this road. Get AT guns into this area to cover here. It can be very annoying for the blue side. And in this area, not a lot you can do. You can kind of. You can sort of reinforce through, the, like I was putting machine guns into here and some AA back here. That's generally quite safe and you've got some cover from any fire coming in from here. From the blue side, yeah, I'm, I'm not like some team play expert, but I'm just going off the few games I've played and common sense here from what I know of how the game works. From this side, yeah, put pressure in this flag, making a smoke push into here. Yeah, it's basically these two flags you're trying to get to. And on this side, if you can push into here as well and get onto the hill, it's very difficult. It's very close to the deployment. Where this side, it, it's sometimes a bit easier to get into here. You can kind of hide under the lip. Here, it's harder to hide under the lip. Often I do get... You can get right into the back here and just hide units around. So if you get into here, pushing across the open air and getting into this forest is possible. And as you saw, the sneak around the side to get this flag, it's a viable tactic. But I feel like you really need to back up with some AA in this area. You need some heavy support weaponry in here too. But it's always a bit, it's a bit like the opposite side. Whereas red side, if you're in, you can invest a lot, you can get stuck into just throwing points away into just getting one flag here. The same thing can go on here. But I'd say it's a little bit worse on this side, because if you do get this flag and secure it, like, 
our opponents did in that game. What are you going to do from here? The best you can hope for is to push through into here, get an AT gun into here briefly, but it's going to be targeted very quickly. And you can still reinforce through here, pop stuff into these forests and blap everything. Whereas if you get this and you hold it securely, you've got much more space to work with. You can then come down this road, cut off supplies in here, get into this forest, cause all kind of havoc. That's why it's much more beneficial to gain this flag than it is to gain this flag. Other than that, from blue side, another thing to do, get across into this forest, AT gun into here, support weaponry into here, and into here, and you can you can cut off these reinforcement roads fairly easily. So it does, I say it does kind of balance out overall on, on this map, I believe. If you do make this push across here, it makes your teammate invest in, I mean your opponent, sorry, invest into this area. Which generally, as you saw in the game we just played, I had like, I think, two units in here in the entire game and that was it there's not really a need to put much in there at all but if you start pressuring your opponent in, into this area trying to get across here laying down smoke if you have amphibious armor as well oh could be devastating coming across here anyway that's that it's a bit of a long video so i'll call it a day there for now oh other than just to mention yeah the 2v2 league thing once this video comes out, I believe I will have the uh, sign-ups the sign-ups ready and I'm going to um, the rules are going to be sort of polished up a bit. I've given an example of how to do the, the pick and ban just so people know. The, the thing where I can't really the thing I can't do much about at the moment it's the, um, the lower divisions because I'm not exactly sure how many teams we're going to get. If there's two or three then it's not going to be like a group system where you all play each other twice because then it's too short. It's something I'm going to have to discuss with the teams and see what they want because I can do different things like campaign modes, um, you know, mix things up a bit. It just depends exactly what the, what they want to do. But we, I could, I suppose, it could just like you play each other like three or four times instead of twice if there's just three teams, if that's what people want. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. And with the, the Super Noob League... I think that's fairly, it's going to be fairly simple. Um, yeah, because it's going to be mostly against AI. And then at the finale is going to be like a, a knockout system. But I might, in the... Yeah, it's just going to be a case of, I'm going to give people options of what they want to do. And and when I do like the big knockout ra knockout cup I was talking about. Let me just, let me just go back to that right now. Where is it? Oh, look, I'm trying to buy some speakers. <laughs> Save my ears. What's this? That's my stupid wife's nonsense. Um, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I, I, did, I did update this. Yeah, in the main video, I will provide the link in the description and also the links to the discords. I'm going to get onto that quite soon. Although I've got to go for the sort out my job in an hour. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, where did I do it? Yeah, gamers, pick and bans here. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, here's an, here's an example. Yeah, blow by blow account of, of how it's going to work. Whereas what I was just talking about here, um, yeah, under construction, it's, it's this, yeah, the, the knockout competition, I'm not sure how that's going to work. But for the lower tiers, if there's only two or three teams, then maybe we do some kind of camp campaign where the battle for maps fighting with divisions from, from different fronts. So it'd be like the Italian front, this front, that front. Again, this is going to be determined by what DLC people own as well. So there's a lot of things up in the air about this at the moment, but I will put time into it and see what I can do. I do some theme battles, like Mottlebox. Mottlebox? <laughs> Can't speak today. I can never speak, to be honest. Uh, metal box battles. Well, obviously, tank-based battles, arty-party battles, based on more artillery orientated divisions. The combined arms, I do want to put this in a, in some way, shape, or form. I'm thinking I'm more likely to do this for the um, this knockout cup competition, where anyone can enter it. I think it would be quite interesting to do this. But, yeah, it's a bit of fun. If there's not many people entering, fair enough. 
pod yet. Well, we'll talk more about that in the future. Um, super noob. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. This is going to remain pretty much as as is because it's more just for casual casual players. Have a bit of fun. Play the AI. You can choose. You can kind of challenge yourself if you're extremely new to the game. First of all, you play against the medium AI. If you beat them, then you can you know level up, go into the next one. If you have four four games against AI of your choice, if you feel super confident, you can maybe start off against higher to AI. But once you figure out the AI, it is fairly simple how to beat them, but they can be a bit tricky. It's it's decent AI in this game. A lot of people give it a good respect. Alrighty, and um, I will give more information to the when we get closer to the start of the league about how this functions because um, I think medium AI is basically exactly the same as as a human player in what it gets, except for it's just got really good vision with the artillery. And um, the hard AI, I I think they get more points and they play more aggressively, whereas medium's a bit more passive very hard again i think it's still aggressive play even more points and hardest is like super super aggressive even more points advantage they get but the medium ai is the the difference between the medium ai and the hard ai is quite dramatic i would say because the medium's a bit more passive in its play it's not quite as aggressive so you you have lots of time to sort of build up your forces probe and attack hard ai will just come at you and I am going to be building, or myself and um, people will be helping out with the league. They will be building some specifically made AI units to play against each round. So you'll you'll know what you're up against. I I will let you see that. You'll be able to look at the deck you're up against. So you will get a good advantage there. But you'll be able to see. Yeah, going to be doing some like really hard tank pushes with the with the um, AI and things like that. So it should be fun, I hope. Anyway, I'll leave it there for now because this video's gone on long enough. And um, the next video I should be doing, um, it's the Division 4 Finals. I think two of the games have been released into the Discord, so I'll be casting those. Probably, maybe I'll do one more today if possible. Maybe two of them. But like I say, I need to go and sort out some business of my own so I have some money. Alright, goodbye.